um, defector Yuri uh, Bezmanov. Bem- Bezmanov. He detailed uh, the Soviet Union's plan for the moral decay of the United States by introducing Marxist and Leninism mm. into school. Marxism and Leninism in, into school. Marxist and Leninist ideas. And that these would be uh, ingrained in younger people, and then they would go into the workforce, and then they would slowly but surely ruin the society through this. And it's a fascinating conversation. That because is. it's in 1984 that he's talking about this. Wow. What a perfect year to talk about What a perfect year it. to talk about it. Yeah. I think it was 84. Um, it was in the 80s for sure. But it's it's a fascinating... Have you never seen it? No. You should watch it. I've never heard of this. This guy. Um, what's his name? Former KGB Asian named Yuri Alexandrovich Bezmanov claimed in 1984 that Russia had a long-term goal of ideologically subverting the U.S. He described the process of a, as a great brainwashing that has four basic stages. The first stage, he said, is called demoralization, which would take about 20 years to achieve. It's really fascinating. When you hear him talk, it's fascinating because that's exactly what they did. But I don't know if they did it. I think it's definitely been done. Uh-huh. But did it come from Russia? And how did it come from Russia? Well, he'll I mean, explain it. He used the example of the 1960s hippie, hippies coming to the positions of power in the 1980s in government and businesses in America. Bezmanov claimed this generation was already contaminated by Marxist-Leninist values. Of course, this claim that many ba- baby boomers are somehow espousing KGB-tainted ideas is hard to believe, but Bezmanov's larger point addressed why people who have been gradually demoralized are unable to understand that this has happened to them. Referring to touch, such people, Bezmanov said, they are programmed to think and react to certain stimuli in a certain pattern. You cannot change their mind, even if you expose them to authentic information. If you prove that white is black and, bl- and black is black, you still cannot change the basic perception and logic of behavior. Demoralization is a process that is irreversible. Bezmanov actually thought back in 84 that the process of demoralizing America was already completed. It would take another generation and another couple of decades, here we are, to get the people to think differently and return to their patriotic American values, claimed the agent. In what is perhaps the most striking passage in the interview, um, Bezmanov described the state of a demoralized person. As I mentioned before, exposure to true information does not matter anymore. A person who is demoralized is unable to assess true information. Mm. The facts tell nothing to him. Even if I shower him with information, with authentic proof, with documents, with pictures, even if I take him by force to the Soviet Union and show him a concentration camp, he will refuse to believe it until he has a kick in his fan bottom. When a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand. But not before that. That's the tragedy of the situation of of demoralization. I still don't understand how this got from Russia into us. He explains it in the interview. It's a a long interview. Because... He explains what they did and how they... It's certainly possible because, I mean, colleges have become so left-wing. I mean, there's no diversity on college campuses. Yeah, none especially the elite schools, right. wh- which turn out the people who then control the media. Yeah. I mean, they're the ones who go into the places, organs of government, organs of media, that are most influential in our society. Yeah. Um, so it's coming from, and, and of course, they teach Marx. Andrew Sullivan wrote a great piece about this about six months ago. They teach, Karl Marx is one of the most taught economists in all in all these elite colleges and of course a lot of what Karl Marx was about would never pass must 